needs power and there you cannot uh, afford to have big units of capacitors you need to have uh, capacitors super capacitors of the same dimension as that of the unit device okay that's why we went ahead and uh, tried to uh, explore the possibility of you know uh, uh, fabricating these kind of tiny super capacitors but now uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to let us say uh, these kind of applications which involve like a very flexible energy storage devices right uh, so uh, in, in such cases you know what happens is like typically uh, what happens is like you know the, the entire uh, you know this thing will be changed because the architecture is going to be different right so why why first of all why do we need these kind of flexible energy storage devices right why do we need these kind of flexible energy storage device? For example, you know, instances where you, you are want to use this medical bracelets, right? Or an RFID tag, right? All these involved. For example, in an RFID tag or medical bracelet, you know, think about it. I, I need these things to be powered, right? So if this device or the powering device, the capacitor or battery, if that is flexible, then it makes sense. It is fine. Otherwise, I cannot think of, about a bracelet like this because now I have to really worry about this big battery unit connected to it right okay that's what or in other words now the importance is like can we really have these kind of flexible batteries and super capacitors for its application for uh, you know large applications like in a car right now what happens where, where are the batteries or super capacitors kept inside a car electric car it is beneath the feet okay you see all these chunks of batteries are aligned kept here First of all, that occupies space. Second thing is it's very heavy. Okay. Instead, if we can think about a completely flexible battery or a supercapacitor, you know, that can basically be embedded onto the doors, onto the parts of the car. Then, you know, it becomes easily distributed. Energy storage device is equally distributed all across the car. Right? Consume, it saves space, it's, you know, it, uh, it reduces the weight, right? Once you see that the weight is reduced, obviously it has, uh, you know, it, it positively contributes to the efficiency of the vehicle, correct? So that's where, you know, typically something like this, okay? The door part, you know, in, in between the part I have, uh, you know, if I can insert a flexible battery or a capacitor, then it will be easier, right? Well, I mean, uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, in one of the works, uh, what we've shown is like, you know, uh, I can start thinking about from a multi volt carbon nanotube bundle. Right, and uh, infiltrate some ionic liquid based electrolyte, okay, which means like in an ionic liquid, I'll add some cellulose also. Cellulose is typically, you know, what is there, the uh, most content of the paper. So, cellulose powder I can uh, dissolve in an ionic liquid, and that if you infiltrate onto the bundle of carbon nanotube, right, then I can just peel off this one. Finally, you get a completely flexible film, okay, this carbon nanotube flexible film will contain these electrolyte ionic liquids that are already embedded in it, right? So I have a, I have a, an electrode, I have an electrolyte also, and on top of that, there will be a layer of cellulose on top of it, which will act as an insulating layer, correct? So all together, what I can easily see that, it can actually form as a nice flexible device. Because in a supercapacitor, what do you need? Let us say current collector is there, because if I just put a, uh, coat a layer of gold or something onto this, it will act as a current collector. Then bundle of carbon nanotube will act as the electrode. Then when I am infiltrating this ionic liquid, already these cations and anions are already there. Electrolyte is there, right? There is a cellulose part is, which is kept, right? That will act as the electrolyte, uh, sorry, that will act as the separator, insulating separator. So if I keep another similar one and just attach to it, that forms a super capacitor okay and since the, all these materials are flexible like what you saw here it's highly flexible so two such elements two such uh, films if i put together it forms a flexible super capacitor device right so that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of it right i'm using this ionic liquid as the electrolyte here solid electrolyte here right and you know you can go on extending all these things right Okay, now I will slightly switch gears. So I hope so far.